welcome to our third series where we are looking at the August 2022 grade 12 GCE exam examinations from the Con examination council of Zambia so we've done question one and question two so this is the third question we're looking at here. so if you haven't watched the first two parts please go back and check also so question three leads in a particular locality 25 people so 25 people like walking then 22 people like learning so these 22 and 15 people like cycling during their morning routine exercise 11 people like both walking and running 9 people like both running and cycling 7 people like both walking and cycling then three people like all the three activities while seven people do not like any of the three activities draw the venn diagram to illustrate this information how many people are in this locality then b like walking only then c like two different activities so again this question is on the sets so this question always comes but the, just flares in different ways but the questions revolves around the same thing so it's a matter of understanding so let us uh, get key information so let us make this let working so what you are saying the number of people that to like working be equal to w so from this we are told that 25 people like working so this is equal to 25 then similarly those who like running during the morning routine be R and these are how many? 22. Then those who like cycling in the morning who like biking be C equal to how many? They are 15 people. Then this is W. Then we are told that 11 people, they like both walking and cycling. So the number of people that like both walking and running, so and running are equal to 11. Then those who like the number of people, where n is the number of people who like uh, basically both learning and cycling, which is R and C. Uh, basically how many they are nine then those the number of people those who like both walking and cycling walking and cycling are uh, how many they are seven then what we are told the number of people who like both wo learning walking and cycling they are three and seven people do not like anything. So seven people do not like any of these three activities. Then the question is asking us, we need to demonstrate this on a Venn diagram. So what we do is basically, let us draw the, the Venn diagram. Then after we have extracted that information, this is E. So we know that seven people, they don't like anything. So seven, they're outside. Okay. Then what we know is three people. So three people from here, they like all of them. So three people, they are found in all the three sets. So this is basically walking. We have learning. Then we have uh, cycling. Like uh, this. So what we notice, if you go back to the question, we know that 11 people they like walking and learning so walking and learning both so they like walking and learning so 11 people are in this circle so we already have three there so you see 11 minus 3 will remain with 8 so we have basically 80 there then when you go to this sentence we we extracted we knew that Nine people, they like learning and cycling. Learning and cycling. So learning and cycling is uh, this region, the entire this. 
So in this one, we have nine people. So we already have three there inside. So you see, nine minus three will remain with six. So that when you add this one and this one, we are getting the nine. So next, we have uh, seven people who like walking and cycling. So seven people who like walking and cycling. So we already have three here. So seven minus three will remain with a four. So that when you add the four and three, we get the seven. Okay. Then when you go to... The first part, we are told that 25 people, they like walking. So 25 people, they like walking. So it is the number of people like walking that 25. So we already have uh, 4 in here. Then we have 3 in here. Then we have 8. So 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 3 is 15. So 15 from 25, we remain with uh, 10. So basically what we have here, we have 10 people who like walking okay then next we go to running so learning the total number of people who like learning they are 22 so from 22 we already have captured the 8 plus 6 which is 14 plus 3 17 so from 22 we've already captured 17 so we are remaining with 5 so 5 are the people that have not been captured there okay then, next is, we are saying, we go to the last part. So, la last part is cycling. So, cycling, they are, how many people like cycling? They are 15 in total. So, out of those 15, we will let the capture the, uh, a 4, a 3, and the, a 6. So, 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 3, 13. So, from 15. 15 already capture 13, so we are remaining with only the 2 in this area. So 2. So basically, this is how you, you answer the Venn diagram. Okay, so we've answered the, the first part, which is show this in the Venn diagram. So the next part that we need to deal with is part A. Part A is asking us how many. Find how many people like walking only. So walking only. Walking only. Okay. So how many people like walking only? So if you look at walking only. So walking only here is very clear. Is this part, which is ten. So walking only is C ten. Ten is not found in. Me. They don't learn. They don't cycle. So this is the ten we are talking about. So, hence, we have the 10 as uh, no, number 2B. Okay. So, we jump to number, number 2A. So, number 2A is asking us how many people are in this locality. So, it's a matter of just adding the number of people inside in these uh, sets. Then, we can find it. So, we have basically... Uh, in working, there are 25 in total. So 25 plus this 5. So 25 plus this 5, we have 30. Plus uh, basically uh, 6, we have 36. Plus 2, we have uh, 38. Plus 7, we have 45. So we have 45 people in this locality. That's how you answer question uh, A. Then we've already answered question B. So let us move to question C. So how many people like two different activities only? Two different activities only. So only two different activities. So when you're talking about two different activities, we're talking about this number, this number, and this number. So C becomes basically 4 plus 8 plus 6. So we have basically 18 in total. These people, they like two different activities on it. So this is how you answer question 3A. So having answered question 3A, we can move to question uh, 3B. So 3B leads the position vectors of, po of the points A, B, and C are that then... Uh, that those three respectively show that the points A, B, and C are collinear. Are collinear. 
Okay, so if they are collinear, they should have the same uh, direction. It should be parallel in the in terms of where this they slope. So for us to, to get a better appreciation, let us draw these lines. So we need to draw these lines. We we'll draw them like this. So let us have point A down here. Then let us have point B this side. Then let us have point, point C somewhere this side so that it just easier for us to demonstrate and explain so let us this is point a which is basically uh negative one then negative two then we have point b here which is basically three then six then which is basically written as 3 comma 3 and 6 then we have c here which is written as basically 9 and 18 as a column vector then for us to demonstrate the first thing that we need to do is the direction is this is a zero and this is to a then this is to b then so the, the first thing is we need to prove that two of them or three of them they have a common uh, scalar or they are collinear they have a common scalar in some way. so we just done this for the sake of demonstrating so let us start by finding what would be a b so what would be the movement from a to b so which is a b so a b would be you start going back to O, which is A O, then plus O B. So we know this is, this is O A, this is O C, then this is O B. So O A, so this is O A, now it's not O A because we are moving backward. Is is A O? So A O is an is this one by uh, the opposite direction. So introduce a negative. So it shows that we are not moving from O A but backward. Then plus O B, which is basically three six. So what this does is basically what we get is basically. Uh, negative one so this one basically gives us it will become positive so we get one two then plus plus uh, what b is three six so when you add this two we are getting one plus three is a four then two plus six is eight then we fact out when we fact out we are going to get basically a four outside then one two like this so this is basically a a b so this is the a b direction so let us find also uh try to find uh let us say we find a c so a c which is the movement from a or let us find say say bc so from b to c not a c b so what we notice is bc would be equal to basically b o so we need to go back to the origin then move from o to c so we are adding like that so that's what would be our direction so if that's our direction, let us find what BC would be. So BC would be basically equal to a BO. So BO is a negative of the OB, which is 3, then 6, then plus, we know what OC is. So OC is basically 9, eight, nine, nine then 18. 
so when you add these two we are getting basically negative so 9 minus 3 is a 6 then 18 minus 3 is a 12 then we know that 6 is common here so we take out 6 then we have 1 2 so what you notice is these parts these parts are the same so that's what we are trying to demonstrate this part the the column vector the column vectors are all just scaled by different factors but they give us the same thing so since they're giving us the same thing and these two vectors are collinear so these three vectors are collinear so we, we could do the same for uh basically could do the same for if we did the same for uh basically we did ac so ac would be basically ao plus oc then what is ao ao is just inverted a direction for a which is in, in brackets then plus oc what is oc 1918 918 then this one just becomes one positive because of a negative then we add again we simplify we are getting basically a 10 then 20 when we factor out a 10 this one will just give us a 10 then again we end up with him this vector column vector is the same one to two so they are collinear so basically this is how you deal with this kind of equation so today we've answered the entire question three so tomorrow we pick it up in the next session we pick it up from uh question number four